hey, hey, guys. It's Mini Mix Media Monday again, and it's Tiff. I took your suggestion, and we're going to make a new mini um, journal to work in on our Monday projects. So this that I have here is literally scraps that I have around my studio. So this is a watercolor um, scrap that I had, and I had created like a little, um, a little journal to take around with me and the watercolor paper kind of tore so I ended up just tearing it off this is a tag shipping tag I just put a little washi tape in between two so I could create it um, into a book this was a mixed media stack that I have had for ever okay <laughs> and so in there I like the way the craft paper looks so I was like I'll just tear a sheet in half and I'll use it this is an old um, map that I did for inky pickup this is a little um, snack bag or something that maybe somebody sent me I like the color of it this is just another piece of, I think that's regular copy paper that I literally just used as a pickup inky piece. Um, so all of these are scraps. So this is literally like a scrap journal that we're going to use. And then I had the other piece of the watercolor paper. This is the um, other half of that craft paper. This is just a piece of some random book page that I used to pick up. So all of those are going to be our mini journal. So super easy, look around, see, but hold on a minute. I thought about this idea. Um, this is a old tea towel, okay? So this is a tea towel, you could use muslin, you could use pretty much anything like that. And I was like, I wanted to make a good cover that would kind of hold up, but that's kind of flimsy. But that's what I wanted to use. So, I thought about Erin. Um, if you haven't watched the Flow Journal, I will link that. So, I thought about how Erin's paper was the denim and, um, like, it, had, it was like, almost like denim was stuck to sticker paper. So, I said, I have sticker paper. I have this. Let's see if we can make it work. So the purpose behind sticking the tea towel to the sticker paper is because this is a very thin piece of material. Okay, this is a pickup rag, so it, it would not be substantial enough to be able to use this as the cover only. So um, we're going to stick this tea towel paint rag on to this sticker paper and that's what I'm doing here and I'm just kind of pushing the air bubbles out um, so that um, it's nice and flat surface so hopefully this makes a little bit of sense so the sticker is actually facing you and you're laying your substrate that you want to use on top of it now if you wanted to use canvas you could definitely do that and you wouldn't necessarily have to do this step. Um, but I'm always trying to bring fresh content to you guys, new things for us to try. And so I figured why not. So then I thought I would rip it. Bad idea. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm like, no, nah, that's not going to work. So I had to flatten it back out. So I'm, I'm trying to change it up a little bit. Think outside the box of ways that we could use um, the stuff that we already have. The majority of you guys are going to have um, these materials. And I know if you're like me, you have lots of paper and scraps that you could use that this is the perfect way to do it. So this is kind of a scrappy mini journal is what we're going to call it. Scrap bits. And then we're just simply going to trim around um, the tea towel um, to make it the same size, which would be eight and a half by 11 inches, um, just a standard American sheet of paper. La la la, just cutting away. Bah, 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 bah. Okay. So now that we have that done, we have to still cut this down. I wanted to be a little bit of overhang um, 
for you to be able to do it. So we're just going to measure it out. Um, and I do, I don't like measuring. And I was like, hold on, let me go grab my ruler. I know I have it around here somewhere. And so really like, this is a very poor example of measuring because y'all know I just wing it and be like, okay, I think that looks about right. And then I'm just going to cut this material slash sticker paper backer piece <laughs> down to make a nice cover for our book. So we're going to trim it down, trim it down. Da, 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 da. Yay, we sped it up. All right, so now this had a little bit too much, so I'm literally just eyeballing this, and I wanted to have the tag kind of overhang a little bit. So, um, this is literally just, and I'm terrible at cutting a straight line. So, um, good thing that I don't really care if it's straight or not, huh? <laughs> so, I'm like excited about that. And then I'm like, hold up, we got to go stitch this. So, we're, I did a double stitch around there. And now, we have this amazing journal that we're going to use. So, how are we going to bind it? Yes, I could have got, like, the thread and did the pamphlet stitch and all that, but, um, nah, we'll just go with the staples. So, <laughs> thanks guys for joining me. I can't wait till next Monday when we actually do a page in the book. I hope you'll subscribe to this crazy wacky girl known as Southern Gal, aka Tiffany, and give me a little love. I've got a Facebook page now I'll link below, and I'll catch you next Monday. Till then!